A mobile phone may have saved a woman's life in the Manchester attack. The husband of a woman who was badly injured in the explosion at Manchester Arena says a mobile phone may have saved his wife's life. Lisa Bridget was using her phone after the concert when the explosion caused a steel nut to fly toward her. The steel nut reportedly hit her hand, causing her to lose a finger before going through her phone and her cheek. The nut ended up in her nose. Eight men and one woman have been arrested in the UK since the attack on Monday night, including the attacker's older brother. The woman has since been released without charge. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Here are some more videos of near-death experiences. In Mother Russia, wind is very strong. This mother and her young daughter were nearly gone with the wind on a blustery day near the Russian city of Krasnodar. Surveillance video shows the pair enjoying a Saturday afternoon stroll as high winds whip through the trees. With strong gusts blowing, pedestrians walk with their hoods up. Unaware of the imminent danger, the mother and daughter pause for a moment, their attention drawn to something out of the shot. Now, everyone needs a roof over their heads, but this has taken things too far. Grabbing her daughter by the hand, the mother makes her run for it, narrowly avoiding what surely would have been certain death. Nature's wrath and shoddy construction work can be a deadly combination, and that was a really close call. But the story has a happy ending, as the mom and her kid were unharmed. Satisfied that the roof is no longer a threat, the mother and child continue on their merry way. They'll probably just put the experience down to a bad case of wind. Driver narrowly escapes death after metal beam beams his beamer. A California man is no doubt counting his blessings after escaping this. The San Jose driver was reportedly heading southbound along Interstate 280 on Friday afternoon when suddenly a metal beam strapped to a nearby truck came loose. The beam flew off the back of the truck, going right through the unidentified man's windshield. But the gentleman miraculously escaped with his life and with just minor injuries. Shocked firefighters say had the man been seated slightly more to the right, he would have likely been impaled. Now that's what we call defying death. No escape. Women narrowly avoid death from oncoming train on Indiana Bridge. These two women are lucky to be alive, but before we show you their death wish, let's try to figure this out. This is what we imagine what happened. Hey, let's take selfies behind Lake Lemon. Ooh, hashtag photo of the day. Yeah, okay. I want the sunlight to get my good side. Okay. No, but seriously, on July 10th, these two women decide to trespass the railroad tracks on Shuffle Creek Trestle in Indiana. The lead engineer spotted them as the 100 car train came around a curve at 30 miles per hour, so he hit the emergency brakes. The two women hear the sound of the horn and try to outrun the 1400 ton freight train. As they run, one woman gets caught in between the tracks and starts screaming. The other contemplates jumping from the 80 foot bridge. The woman sees her friend is stuck and goes back to save her. They realize it's too late and they both lay face down on the tracks. Let's watch that again. The train runs over both women, leaving the two realize their dumb decision nearly cost them their lives. They fled the scene, but Monroe County law enforcement have identified both women, and now the incident is considered a criminal matter. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Eight-year-old survives train accident that takes life of grandfather. An eight-year-old southwestern Virginia boy escaped a tragic train accident over the weekend that took the lives of a seven-year-old girl and a 52-year-old man believed to have been the children's grandfather. The trio had reportedly been fishing along a railroad trestle Sunday afternoon near Chilawi when they encountered a westbound train. Its crew, seeing the group, sounded the train's horns and hit the emergency brakes, but it was too late. The young boy luckily managed to slip between the tracks, but the middle-aged man and the young girl, who stood to the side, were struck. The boy reportedly fled along a trail and was only found hours later by authorities at his grandparents' house. He was taken to a local hospital for observation and reportedly suffered no serious injuries. Authorities are still trying to determine how exactly the boy managed to escape in time.